Yucky, yucky weather today. Wow, what a day. <laughs> My neighbour. Hey ho, neighbour! Yes, running around again. Lots more running around. Right, what's been going on this week then? Lots and lots. I've just had a stealth. Hello guys, how are we doing? We're doing a 360 vid today. Well, not that you can tell. But, um, we're having a look at all angles. And I'm using the 360 camera, so I don't know how long it's going to last. And hopefully it's all going to be okay and tickety-boo, so we'll see. Separate sound recorder up in my head, up here, which you'll be able to see as well. I'd love to show you now. <laughs> yeah. So, what been going on? Yes, yeah, very busy. Been doing lots of things, running around, doing stuff. Ah, uh, yes, my mum's fridge broke. <laughs> Her fridge broke, so um, I had to go up and uh, sorry if the windscreen wipers are making a lot of noise. Um, hopefully you can still hear all right. Um, yes, I had to go up at early part of the week. Um, and uh, go and see her, because um, her fridge broke and all her food went off. And, uh, Anyway, they've delivered, I managed to get her a new fridge, which um, luckily they delivered um, this morning actually, I think it was about 8 o'clock this morning they came, so uh, she's with a fridge now, <laughs> so she's very happy. So basically I've got a shopping day for mum today, and um, I've also got to uh, go and sort her fridge out. Because um, the uh, delivery guys weren't allowed to go into the house, you see. Um, well, they weren't supposed to go into the house, unless you were elderly. So uh, I had to pull the old fridge out and stick it in the back hall for them to take the old one. Because you, uh, you had to book a, um, a collection for the old one. So I think it cost her £20 to have the old one taken away and um, get up to see the new one replaced. Um, they wanted £20 to unpack it to plug it in. It said um, install it, to have it installed, it would cost another £20. And I, I thought £20 to take it out of its packaging and plug it in was a bit steep. So I said I'll come and do that for you. <laughs> so uh, that's what I'm doing now. So I've got to unpack her fridge, turn that on, and then um, yes, and then do her shopping. So that's one of the jobs for today, amongst many other things I have to do. I've got to try and get some bikes back as well. So yes, lots, lots going on. Lots going on. Um, need to get the car serviced as well within the next few days. Hopefully the oil comes, which um, I don't believe it has yet. I don't think it's arrived. I, I had the other parts arrive, but not the uh, not the oil. So I'm still waiting for that. Uh, yes, don't have a rear wiper. Our, um, our grandson rented off. <laughs> oh god, I got that to do tomorrow as well. I've got to take my grandson to his uh, to an appointment tomorrow. Yeah, he's um, he's quite he's quite highly autistic. Our little grandson. Yes, I 
Yeah, so it's all happening. <laughs> it's all flipping go, it is. Yes, uh, oh, I can't remember his name. Bum. <laughs> Bum! I was gonna do, um, I was gonna do a response video to, uh, somebody who sent me a, uh, email. And, uh, I can't remember what, oh, I can't remember what it was. I think it was Mickey. So, hello, mate, if you're watching. I think it was Mickey. Um, I can't remember. Oh. Um, yeah, it, basically, he was saying he, uh, he wanted to convert. I think he said it was a trans. I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> it's not that your email wasn't important. It was. It, thank you very much. I'm just hopeless at remembering because I have so many things going on in my brain. I'm trying to sort work out and stuff as well. It's like, I can't remember it all. I, I mean, I get, I get so many emails in the day. It's just... You don't you want the whole road, mate? Yeah, obviously. I obviously didn't really want to share it with any other road users. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, thank you for your email, mate. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. And uh, thanks for watching the videos. And uh, I wanted to do a, a response video to what he just mentioned. Um, he was basically saying that he wanted to... Uh, Build his, build his camper on the cheap using a lot of recycled materials. Did I have any ideas? Well, um, yes, great idea, mate. I mean, pretty much that's what I did. Um, the only thing I can say about recycled materials, it's okay, it depends what you're using. I know it's a big thing to use pallet wood at the moment, but um, to be honest, I don't think I would personally. I think I, I built stuff with pallet wood in the past, and I found it to be more trouble than it's worth because it is cheap wood, obviously, which is why they use it for pallets because it is cheap wood, and um, having cheap wood. It's going to split, it's going to shrink, it's going to twist. Um, <laughs> multiple things. Um, so, it's alright if you want a rustic look on the surface. If you just want a surface look, like if you built some cupboards and you just want so, a rustic cupboard door, for example, or a rustic drawer front, or whatever, then, then I think for that it's perfect. But if you actually want a solid carcass or a solid uh, cupboard then um, I would build it with plywood if it was me that's just me, that's just my opinion um, plywood's not that expensive um, like I say you could get recycled plywood if it's in behind you're not going to see it so yes you could do that um, a lot of the wood in Sammy was recycled um, like the ceiling timbers and uh, ceiling wood and all that. That was all. That was all packing from packing crates. Again, it was okay once it was. Uh, it was only as a surface. I didn't actually build with it. I mean, the uh, the actual materials that I built the actual cupboard with was um, solid wood that I bought from a do-it-yourself shop. Um, but. As to other bits and pieces, um, the sink, uh, I think, where did that come from? Oh, I think that was in there. No, that was in the van already, the sink. It, it, was, a, it was a SMEV unit which had the cooker on the end of the sink. So it was, a, it, was a one, it was a sink with a drainer and a cooker at the end. Well, I just basically got the anchor point and cut the cooker end off because um, that was broken. The cooker didn't work, so I just cut it off. <laughs> So I ended up with a sink and drainer. But I would say the best bet is probably um, classified ads or Facebook or um, go on the self builders group. There's a, there's a lot of self build groups on um, Facebook and things like that. But join up with them and um, there's a lot of great people on there and they're happy to help. 
I mean, I've had stuff that I've given to people. Um, I've been on campsites and I've had stuff in my van. Um, and I've just said, I've been chatting with people and they've said, oh, I could do with so and so. I said, oh, I've got one of those. Here you go. Just give it to them, you know? And I think it's a great, the self built community is really good like that because people get different things, so people tend to just sort of give people stuff if it's no good to them, which I do, which I've given quite a few things away that I bought that I didn't use, which, um, which I think is really good. Or you might, like I say, you might be able to just pay a couple of pounds for a sink or something, which I've also done in the past, which I found on Facebook and things like that. Um, eBay as well is another good one. Um, you may pay a little bit more on eBay, but if you're buying something which is um, maybe a little bit more expensive, like maybe you're buying a cooker or a fridge or something like that, or a heater maybe, then uh, you, you've probably got some sort of, or you should have some sort of comeback. But, you know, obviously if the uh, if the item's faulty or it turns out to be a load of rubbish, then you can get your money back. So in some ways, that's quite good. Um, but again, yeah, um, that's your best bet, really. Just sort of uh, classified ads and stuff like that. That's, um, that's the way I went, actually. And uh, people giving me stuff, friends and stuff. So um, definitely. So yes, if you've got any more ideas where you think you can find stuff, um, leave it in the comments down below, because um, I'm sure um, you're going to move out the way then, because you sat sat in the road. <laughs> you sat in the middle. You've got to move over a bit. <laughs> you can't have all of it. <laughs> anyway, what do you think of the setup? Um, I, uh, I thought I'd try it out in the car and do a vlog for you guys. So, um, yeah, if once I've, um, in fact, I'll oh, shut up, I'm talking waffle now. Um, yes, so thank you, Matty, if that was your name, I think it was, hopefully it was. Um, if it's not, I'll put the real name on the screen because I'm sorry and I can't remember because I'm stupid. But why? Anyway, um, love and night, guys. <laughs> Have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching. And, uh,